hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope that this video finds you doing amazing and i hope each and every one of you are doing very well if you are new here consider joining the family by hitting that subscribe button and giving this video a big thumbs up if you like today's content and if you are returning welcome and you are truly appreciated let's jump right into the video all right so starting off with the first diy i have here these two glass bottles that i got from dollar tree i thought they were the perfect looking bottles to make some potion bottles and so what i'm gonna do to make the labels is i'm going to make it using hot glue so you can see me just starting off here i am writing the word potion and i am just simply writing it with that hot glue and then i'm gonna allow that to dry and you guys this is such a great way to make um labels on something if you want to make some halloween decor make it look spooky because of course this isn't gonna write it you know perfectly and it does look really nice and rustic and i love this little hack that you can do to make labels so here's what that looks like once it's done of course you can't see it because it is clear on a clear bottle that that is why you have to paint it so I, I am going to go in with some black paint and you could spray paint this if you want. Um, it would be a bit better cause, so it can get inside of all of the grooves. But I'm just going to go in with my paintbrush and paint it black. I do give it two coats and once you put the color on there, it's just going to make that word pop. But we are going to make it pop some more and make it look nice and rusty and old and like a witchy little bottle. So I am just going all over here with the black paint all around the bottle giving it two coats letting it dry in between and i don't go all the way up to the rim of the bottle with the paint but you definitely could i am going to add something on the top of there just to finish it off but if you wanted the whole thing painted you definitely can just paint the whole thing so now once the bottle is done i am going to go in with the other one and on the other one i am going to write rat tails on the bottle using the same method with the hot glue and you see it right here i painted it with the same paint now i'm going in with this mineral color by waverly chalk paint and i am just going to distress this entire bottle now you're going to see here exactly what happens when i start distressing it it just makes that word pop and stand out and it looks so good you guys and i am loving how they are turning out you can see that word just starting to pop right out of the bottle and it looks really good and it looks nice and spooky too and witchy so i love that so i'm just going to do that to both of the bottles i am going to do the whole entire bottle but you can just do the word if you wanted but i decided to just go ahead and do the whole thing so the entire bottle can look nice and old and rustic so then i'm also going to let that dry once that is done i think the hot glue labels would be great to make some spooky looking books as well to make the labels on the books or even if you wanted to make um a little picture on the books or something like that i think it's a great idea so now i have both of my bottles nice and distressed and here is how i am going to finish off the top of the bottle i am just going to take this black ribbon from dollar tree and simply hot glue it down around the bottle at the top i just thought that this would make it look nicer and um i don't know just a little bit uh different rather than having the whole bottle painted so i just added this but like I said, you don't have to add anything on the top. You can just paint the whole entire bottle. So I'm going to do that for both of the bottles. Add the top back on. And that is it, you guys. That finishes off this little Halloween DIY. And I absolutely love it. I think they turned out super cute. And they are super funny here on my mantle. I really love them. Let me know what you guys think of this one.
Next up here, I have this little candy bowl that you can get from Dollar Tree. And then I also have one of their motion sensor little skeletons. And I am going to take this little guy out and I am going to glue him to this bowl. I really think this bowl is super cute and I love how it's shaped like a little candy. And I, they had this out last year. I'm not sure about this year. I did not see it this year. Um, but they always have different types of bowls that they bring out for Halloween. So I'm sure you can find something to your liking. So I want this little guy to go just like this as if he's holding the bowl. So I'm just going to take my hot glue and I'm going to place some onto his legs at the top and then press down the bowl. I was starting to glue his hands first, but I decided that I didn't want his hands glued down to the bowl because I kind of want them to be on top of whatever I put in here. If I were to put some candy, I want his hands to be on top of it. So I did, you do see me adding hot glue here, but I just wanted to show you guys that I made a little mistake. And I just simply peeled off the hand from the bowl. And then I did, um, as I said, I put some hot glue onto the legs and press down the bowl to the legs um, instead of gluing down the hands. And then once that was on, I took the hot glue and I placed it right under the ribs, right on the edge of the bowl. Because this little skeleton guy actually fit really perfect when he is sitting up onto the rim of the bowl. So I just added some hot glue onto the rim and onto the bottom of the rib part and I just pressed it together and it is sitting perfectly fine and it's looking really good. This would be a really cute idea if you wanna put a bowl of candy out for trick or treaters. I think it's really cool with the motion sensor, it will turn on once someone passes by it. And so now once you have the guy uh, stuck on there, you are completely done and you can also spray paint this if you wanted one solid color but i do like the purple and the way the skeleton is so i am gonna leave it like this maybe next year i will spray paint it just to change it up a bit but here it is turned on and it looks really good and cute you guys and i love this simple and easy diy it is really simple but it is really such a cute diy and i love it for the halloween time let me know what you guys think of this little diy Next up, I have here these little cauldrons that I got from Dollar Tree. And then I also have one of their little frames here. And I am going to remove the uh, insert of the frame because I do want to give that a nice coat of some white paint. And I do want to keep the border of the frame how it is. So that is why I just take it out so I can paint the center. And I'm just going to use some regular white paint. I do end up giving it about three coats so it can cover it up really good. And before I do that, I do like to sand it down. That way it can really grip up that paint and it can hold really well. So now I am just starting to paint it and I am going to let that dry really well once I am done. And as I said, I do give it about three coats because there is a lot of, you know, dark colors on here. So I just want to get that nice and covered up. 
then once it's painted and dried completely i'm just gonna go in with a black sharpie and just go over the edges of the little center that's popped out there because i want to give it a little bit of dimension and just make it stand out rather than being so flat so i just go in with this marker and i just trace all of the edges and you can use whatever color you wanted if you did do this step so now i'm gonna stick it right back into the frame and now once that is in there i am going to go in with these little sticker letters because i do want to place them at the top i I'm, I'm just going to write out pick your because i want to write pick your poison but i want to write poison in the same method that i did for the potion bottles using the hot glue so i'm just going to use the sticker letters for the pick your and i'm just going to freehand that just trying to get it as centered as possible and i don't press them down all the way because i like to keep them a little bit up just in case i need to move them around it's a bit easier and then once i see that they are to my liking i will press them all the way down so i decided to go with the hot glue again for the poison word just be, just to give it a little bit of a different look and just to make it look more um spooky-ish i guess i don't really know but just to make it look a little bit more like a halloween piece and a bit more spooky so that is why i did the hot glue but you can write it with the stickers if you wanted to so i am just press i am just putting them here and once they are all on i am gonna press them down and then i'm gonna put a layer of mod podge on top of them to make sure that they will not be coming off and then i'm gonna let that dry really well once that is dry i am gonna go in with my hot glue and write out that word poison and i am just gonna try my best to write it down uh nice and straight but again it does not have to be perfect because this is supposed to look spooky and you know rustic and just uh all of that for halloween so it does not have to be perfect if you wanted to do this method for the writing just go ahead and do it and trust me it will look um good in the end and it will look to your liking because if when you're doing something like that's rustic or for halloween you don't want it to be perfect so i am fine with how it comes out and i really end up loving it so once you have the word on there you can see i am writing it down you can choose whatever color you want to paint over it so it can start to pop out and i just chose this moss color um by waverly chalk paints and i am just going over it and it's it's just gonna make that word stand out and then i do decide to go in with the same moss paint and go over the black letterings as well just to make it look more cohesive and you know make it look better overall so i do that to the black letterings as well and then i just take whatever's left on the brush and i just go in all around the edges of the white parts not the center but all around the other white part where the wording is and just to make it look rustic and worn out so when i thought of this idea i thought it was really cute with the pick your poison and the little cauldrons because i am gonna place the cauldrons on here and i do want to place three of them down side by side i'm just gonna take these screw in hooks and these i got off of amazon i can leave a link to them down in my description box but i'm gonna place them here wherever i would like them to go and just simply play uh screw in those hooks so that i can hang my cauldrons and now the whole pick your poison thing is because i am going to place down little different candy inside of the cauldrons and i thought that was super funny and cute and i just love how it turned out now before i am done i am going to go in with these beautiful vintage looking stickers that i got from dollar tree a while ago and i thought they would be perfect to add to the corners of this little sign to make it look a little bit more vintage and go with the overall theme i think they will look really good so i just take them and i place them onto the corners fixing them up first before i hot glue them down and then i just simply go in with my hot glue and i just go all of, all the way around 
pressing them down so that way they won't come off and i love this little added touch i think it looks really good and makes it stand out even more and then i go ahead and i add my cauldrons and that was it for this little diy you guys i really love how it turned out i love the little concept and i think this would be great if you're having a halloween party or something like that a little event and i love it let me know what you think of this super fun diy You guys, if you would like to show some appreciation towards my channel and just show me some love overall, this is a great way to give back and it is this super thanks new here on my channel. It is right under the title of the video and it is a great way to give back you guys anything that is given obviously goes right back into the videos for you guys to create some new and exciting content and anything is greatly appreciated you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you and I am super happy to have the community that I have. And you guys, I love making these videos. I love crafting and doing all sorts of those things. I just get super happy and I am super excited whenever I am creating. And I hope you guys enjoy my content as much as I do creating them. And so you guys, for the last DIY for today, I have this little gold frame that you can get from Dollar Tree. I am just cutting out a piece of this black paper because I want to add this to the inside of the frame because i wanted a black background and i thought this would be perfect so i just added that in there and then i have another one of those motion sensor little skeleton and i am going to take him out and i am going to cut him because i just want the top half of the skeleton where the torso is the bottom i just want to snip that off so i am going to take that and i want to place it onto this frame and I do want to hot glue him onto here, but before I do that, I do want to also cut the right below the um, elbow just to take off the two parts of the arms. This little guy is just getting all jacked up, but it's because his arms do not bend and I do need them to bend because he is going to hold something. So I just snip those off and I will just hot glue them later on. So now I'm just taking my hot glue, being careful not to get it inside of the center part. So I am just going down the back and I am just going to press him down to the center of the frame. And I am going to start adding the little arms back on in the way that I need them to go a little bit bent so that he is able to hold uh, something in his hands. And poor little guy cannot even get his correct hand for his arm. I noticed that I had the wrong hand for the wrong arm so I just switched them and now I am just going to hot glue them into place and this is going to allow him to hold a little pumpkin or honestly whatever you want him to hold you can have a little led candle and that was my original plan but I don't have any led candles and obviously you can't put a real one but I am just going to add a little pumpkin and I thought that would be super cute. So I just take the pumpkin and this one has a little clip in the bottom. So I'm just going to remove it. And then I'm just going to hot glue his hands onto the pumpkin. And it is super cute him holding the little pumpkin here. And then after that, I did notice that his arms are still moving up and down. And I don't really want that. So I just take a little bit of hot glue and I place it to where the shoulders are. So that way they can stay in one place and don't move up and down as they were. Then for the final step, I am going to go in with just some brown paint and I'm going to distress the whole entire frame just to make it look old and rustic because I thought the gold was just a bit too bright for this little guy. So I'm just going to throw that down using that brown paint and then I also go inside of the little lines and grooves of the pumpkin as well just to make it look old and rustic as well. And then that is it for this little DIY. I think it turned out absolutely cute and I love how it turned out. I love that it's motion censored once again because it just makes it look even more better when it starts to light up. And I love it. Let me know what you guys think of this DIY. Thank <laughs> you.
you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up that does help my channel to grow and i truly appreciate it do also consider hitting that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my future videos and i would love for you to be a part of my family so do go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you all on the next one you guys take care god bless bye